The Ukrainian defense forces have stalled the Russian offensive on Pokrovsk in Donetsk region for more than a week. This section of the front is one of the key areas for the Russian army. The media reported that the Russian general staff allegedly had the task of taking Pokrovsk by October 1st. Recently, the Ukrainian armed forces have still been repelling dozens of enemy attacks here on a daily basis. But the advance of the aggressor country's army has been halted. In the east, a Russian offensive towards the Ukrainian town of Pokrovsk, which has become a focal point of the war in recent months, has stalled all along one key section of the front for more than a week. Still, the fighting in villages and fields east of the town, which is a logistical hub for Ukraine's defense of the eastern Donbass region, remains fluid, and there was no indication that the large Russian force gathered in the area had abandoned its goal of advancing toward the town. From the New York Times publication. In order to counter the Ukrainian operation in Kursk region, the Russian command is redeploying units from the territories it has temporarily occupied from the Sivers direction, the Chasif Yar, Zaporizhia and Kharkiv regions. We are doing everything possible not to lose Pokrovsk. We have strengthened our defenses in this area. In other words, our strategy is working. Of course, the enemy is concentrating their most prepared units in the Pokrovsk area, but we have deprived them of the opportunity to maneuver and deploy their reinforcements from other directions. In fact, it turns out that even if they have not moved any units from near Pokrovsk, except for one marine brigade, they cannot maneuver as they did before. Russia has transferred 60,000 of its military personnel to Kursk region. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said, according to military analysts, we are talking in particular about 155th and 810th marine brigades of the Russian armed forces, the 11th Airborne Brigade, as well as 51st and 56th regiments of airborne troops. The most combat-ready units are being transferred to the Kursk direction. These are special purpose units, special operation forces, and most importantly the brigades of the marines and airborne troops, the most motivated combat-ready ones, the ones that were supposed to increase the pressure in the Donetsk direction. Before the start of the Ukrainian armed forces operation in Kursk region, Russia was probably planning to increase its grouping on Ukrainian territory. However, the Ukrainian army's offensive disrupted these plans. As a result of the successful actions of the Ukrainian defense forces in the Kursk direction and the possibility of expanding the zone of control in the territory of the Belgorod and Bransk regions, the Russian general staff was forced to create the Bransk and Belgorod technical groups. Each of them has about 30,000 personnel, so we can say that the total number of Russian forces that are deployed to the Kursk direction is about 100,000 personnel. In addition to personnel, the Russian command is also pulling military equipment from the temporarily occupied Ukrainian territories. Also, thanks to the operation in Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces narrowed the gap in the quantity of shells. Thus, according to Volodymyr Zelensky, during the delays in deliveries, it was 1 to 12 ratio. Now, in the Pokrov's direction, for every three Russian shells, there is one Ukrainian. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Valeriana Kopelova, UATV News.